12 minutes to 8 and time for thought for the day. The speaker... You're early. Dr. Fideo's not even in yet. I think he's just behind me. Isn't it wonderful, Millie? Get him back to normal again. I suppose so, if you can call anything normal in this place. But we make beautiful smiles here, Millie. Look, I know that's what it says on the website, but it doesn't mean it applies to the staff. Could you see if you could find Hermione's models for me? She's coming in for a bond up this morning. Right. -o. Morning, Millie. What a lovely day. Birds singing, sun shining, faint whiff of usual in the air. Are you all right, Dr. Fideo? Yes, why? Well, you seem very jolly this morning, that's all. All restrictions lifted, sound of air rotors drifting from open windows, till ringing merrily once more, life can get back to normal again. Good morning, dental surgery. Hold on. It's that fellow from the CQC on the phone again. What shall I tell him? Oh, um, ask him what colour the leaves outside his office are, Millie. He says, what colour are the leaves outside your office? Green. Tell him to phone back when they're brown. I'm afraid Dr. Fideo's busy at the moment. Can I get him to call you back? Hello, Evelyn. You look nice. Your hair's different, isn't it? Uh, no. Never mind. Isn't it a wonderful day? I suppose so. Still, must get on. Coffee? Thanks, Millie. What on earth's wrong with Dr. Fideo this morning? Oh, he gets like that sometimes. Won't last long. He'll soon be back to his grumpy old self. I hope so. It's a bit disconcerting when he's like this. Sorry, Rufus. Did I interrupt your phone call? No, just killing time. First patient cancelled. I see dentistry's making headline news recently. Yes, but for all the wrong reasons. Papers full of stories about how people can't get an NHS appointment for months, so they're having to resort to pulling their own teeth out. And of course it's all the dentist's fault. No mention of the fact we've been desperately trying to keep practices going while struggling with surgery fallow time and other measures, which mean we've only been able to do a fraction of our normal workload. Just waiting for the next load of meaningless bollocks the useless CDO and NHS England can dream up. Apparently, the NHS are wasting even more money employing equality, diversity and inclusivity managers now. Not sure what they're for. I'd have thought the NHS was one of the most diverse organisations there was. I think they're concerned that LBGT rights have to be respected now. Oh, that's right. Everyone's now obsessed with personal pronouns, midwives referring to pregnant women as birthing people so as not to cause offence to women who might be identifying as a man that day. Jesus Christ, they're even sending out invitations for cervical screening to men who identify as women for the sake of inclusivity. Wonderful watching Keir Starmer not being able to say whether only women have a survey. Not surprising Labour have never had a woman leader if they can't actually decide what a woman is. Perhaps Keir should identify as a woman for a bit. After all, he seems to be doing a pretty good job identifying as a piece of wood at the moment. They managed to sort out that horrible smell in surgery four. Thank God for that. It was getting worse every day. What was it? Apparently, there was a dead rat under one of the cabinets. Dead rat in the surgery, eh? Seek you see a knock off a Michelin star for that. But we ain't got no Michelin stars. Oh, I got it. Did you hear? Hospitals are now having to ask everyone if they might be pregnant before doing x-rays or scans, and not just women. Oh, for heaven's sake. Imagine if woke nonsense like that filters down to us, which it probably will. Oh, by the way, Mr Scoggins, before we take your x-ray, is there any chance you might be pregnant? Then I suppose I've got to confirm the impression I've gone stark staring mad by asking Mrs Scoggins if she's pregnant, even though she's the wrong side of 70. The world's gone fucking mad. Already they're saying we need to ask patients how much they drink. I don't give a fuck how much Mrs Scoggins drinks or if she's pregnant. She's got a filling out, for Christ's sake. All I want to know is if she wants me to patch up her upper left six again or if this time she'll take my advice and have the bloody thing crowned. It seems the CDO is hinting they're bringing in a new NHS contract soon. It won't mean a blind bit of difference unless they scrap UDAs and go back to some form of payment per item of service. Which they won't because they don't want dentists controlling the budget again. Just going to mean even more practices leaving the bloody NHS. 
Quite honestly, Charlie, the whole model for NHS dentistry is broken, but nobody will admit it. They just make it more and more difficult to run an NHS practice as a viable business. So practitioners finally call it a day and try to sell up, only to find nobody wants to buy an NHS practice and it's become almost worthless. Thank God I decided to go private before all this nonsense started up. I've heard some people say having an NHS practice was the biggest mistake they ever made. What's the biggest mistake you ever made, Rufus? I lent someone £10,000 once to have cosmetic surgery. Now I can't get it back. Why can't you get it back? I don't know what she looks like.